Well, last time my 2001 Volkswagen Passat and I hung out, it left me stranded on the side of the interstate on the south end of the city. Here she is, my beautiful 2001 Passat 1.8 wagon, manual transmission. Uh, like I said, left me stranded last time, and then it didn't, and then drove all the way back up here. And then we scanned some codes, and we have PO322, and then it left me stranded in the shop. So we ended up having to push this thing outside, and it hasn't started since. I believe this is going to be related to an engine speed sensor, or for those of the rest of us in the world outside of Volkswagen, a crank sensor. Fires right up. Yeehaw, buddy. All right. Well, that's good news. That means I don't have to push this thing in and on the rack. It means we can drive it on the rack. Uh, but I am going to replace that engine speed sensor, crank sensor, um, because it has had a couple of issues over the last few weeks where I've had just random ignition dropout. It would stall coming up to a light. Uh, it would run weird. It wouldn't start. It would definitely shut off and not restart when it's hot. And the typical culprit with that code is that sensor. Now, fortunately for me, I also need to do an oil change. And both the oil filter and that sensor are in pretty much the same spot. So let's fix a PO322 Volkswagen code with an engine speed sensor slash crank sensor. First off, get it up in the air. You can see here my vacuum leak fix is still in place. We'll fix that probably. That should just be able to section off a little bit of line there and redo that. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, let's get the earl out of this thing, get up underneath it. This sensor is, it's, it's down yonder. Uh, it is easier to get to from underneath, but neither way is it easy. But we're not going to attack it from the top. We're going to go from the bottom. All right. This sensor is actually up there. It's hard to really get any kind of view on this. But you can see that there's one bolt there, and the sensor sits up that way. So easiest thing to do is remove the oil filter and replace that sensor and I need to do an oil change anyway so oil and filter it is let's go ahead and get the oil out of this thing uh, you also are going to be careful with uh, it's an o-ring sealed sensor with just one single bolt in it you got to be careful not to knock the schmutz that's on the engine into the hole as best you possibly can um, you know it happens but there's a tone ring that that sensor picks up on and you want to try to not get any extra gunk in there that could break up that connection between the two. So let's go ahead and drain the oil out of this thing, take the filter off, and then we'll attack that sensor. Hey, check that out. I've got a fancy schmancy ECS tuning oil drain plug. That's exciting. Hot rod drain plug. Cool, thank you. You get it started? Yep, buy right up. Do have a bit of metal on there, not horrible, but something to pay attention to for sure. <sighs> In true Volkswagen fashion, it's just going to pour that everywhere, because why not? Yep, definitely just poured oil down my beard. Ah. The engineer is in charge of putting an oil filter over something that's going to just pour oil over everything. Super annoying. Brand new sensor, Bosch, which is the original manufacturer for these. It's just a normal three wire and it's got a bolt in it. Um, we just gotta 
find the access to it. It is kind of annoying. You can get to it from the top. You can get to it from the bottom. I have a rack, so I'm going to get to it from the bottom. Um, you can technically do this without removing the oil filter, but it's kind of a bit bigger pain in the butt. Uh, but it literally just... That part just slides in the block, and then it's got one 10 millimeter bolt that holds it. Um, and then the the three plug or the three plug three pin pig tail that you gotta disconnect to reconnect. So no big deal. Uh, I'm letting that oil drain before I but end up coloring my beard more. All right, here is my brand new diehard socket set that I bought when this thing left me stranded. Uh, you should need just this 10 millimeter. Toss it up in there. Unfortunately, where this thing sits is kind of a blind spot. I don't know that I can get a camera on it. I'll do my best. Can I get... I could show you this. There you go. So there's the bolt on the top there. And you just literally pull the sensor out. And then the pigtail goes up yonder. But it's simple as that. Just pull that bolt out and then pull the sensor straight out. Oh, my hair is gonna be black. All right, I got it. There we go. This does not need to be majorly ugly do good boys. This is not a bolt you wanna break off either. It should be just a nice little snug. I don't know exactly what the torque spec is here, but you're not getting a torque wrench in here anyway. All right. Hold your tongue the right way. Do the mechanic finger move. How'd you learn how to do that thing with your fingers? <laughs> Alright, there's our 10 millimeter bolt. And now let's see if we can just pull the sensor straight out. If we're lucky. Or we're going to have to pry it a little bit. Come on, baby, come on. Which is going to be interesting. Okay. Okay. Clean. By the way, don't get brake clean in your eyes. It hurts. Ask me how I know. Of course, this thing is covered in freaking oil. Got it. All right. All right, so now let's just get our other one stuck in there and then run the wiring back up. Ow. I need a shower after this as well. I would say I'm going to lube this oil or this o ring up a little bit 
don't shove it in dry. Good news is, there's oil all over everything, so don't worry about it. Simple as that. Find the hole, shove it in. Okay, uh, sensor's in. Bolt. Run that guy in there. Again. No need to get crazy. This is just a 10 millimeter bolt. Blind hole, so, you know. Feel around until you find it. There we go. snug and then a little bit that's it now all we got to do is just disconnect the old one reconnect the new one and that should be it if you're lucky okay so we're gonna get the sensor pigtail from up top we'll run this one this new pigtail right alongside the old one and go ahead and put our new filter on and our belly full of oil so we don't forget that and we'll wrap this thing up um our plug is underneath there i'm gonna because i've got fat arms i'm gonna take this uh coolant reservoir off and lay that over the side so i can get better access to this here just three little let's see here that old sensor it can be a little bit tricky to get that connection off because it's a positive lock there. So you can get a screwdriver in there and pull it off. Um, whatever your chosen way of doing it is. Unfortunately, it's going to be very difficult for me to show you that. Um, but you'll figure that part out. Don't break it. So this is the annoying part here. To, well, that's now broken. But this thing is stuck in here. So you have to pry this open to pull this piece out, which sits through that ridge. Because you have to pry from underneath here to get this plug out. And you literally can't do this up against the firewall with wire underneath it. So you got to pull this out. Unfortunately, you're probably going to break this. Somebody else has already been in here. They've probably already broken that for you. So this should be loose. All right. Let's see if we can pry, pry that open and pull this stupid thing out of here. Ah, there we go. All right. Now, you can also see where this is all in this loom here. This is not coming out of here. So, we're not going to worry about it. And our new one. I'm going to go in here like so. Click. And then we're going to use some 100 mile an hour zip ties. Keep that sucker out of the way. Before we do that, let's make sure this thing fires back up. What's the over under on this thing just firing right up? By the way, if you're working on a customer's car, clean up before you get in there. If you're working on your car, clean up before you get in here. <sighs> fires right up. There you go, Bob's your uncle. She's good to go. There's how you fix your P0322 engine speed sensor, also known as a crankshaft position sensor. Um, button her back up, make sure you're, all your cables are out of the way. I'm gonna leave that cable, that other wire in there where it is because I'm not real worried about it. Um, bolt down my um, coolant reservoir and we're good to go. So there you go, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed that. This is not what I normally do on this channel, but I guess it's an automotive adventure, so there we go. Got a bunch more stuff to do tomorrow because, yeah, let's not talk about it.
Have a good one, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.